Hello everybody, Bruce Elgort here with a short video on forms and more specifically why it's important to add label tags to your form uh, input elements. So here is a simple form that I have. It has a first name field, it has a last name field, it has a text area for comment, and it has a submit button. Your typical very simple form. Now if I turn on VoiceOver, which is an accessibility feature on the Mac. VoiceOver on Chrome, Form Controls, Google Chrome, Bruce Window, Edit Text, Blank, has keyboard focus. You are Edit Text, Blank. You are Edit Text, Blank. Submit Button. You are currently on a button, inside Edit, edit, edit Text, Blank. You are currently on a text field, inside of web content. To enter text in this field, type. To exit this web area, press Control, Option, Shift, Up Arrow. So if you listen carefully to voiceover and listen when I tab to the last name field, ready? Remember, pretend you are a person who can't see the labels for first name, last name, and comments. Ready? Here we go. Edit text, blank. You are currently on a text field inside of web content. To enter text in this field, type. To exit this web area, press control, option, shift, up arrow. So, did you hear anything about last name? And let me back tab to the first name field. Edit text, blank. You are currently on a text field inside of web content. To enter text in this field, type. To exit this web area, press control, option, shift, up arrow. All right, so nothing, right? So I'm going to turn off voiceover. Voiceover off. And I'm going to go into Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, on lines 18, 23, and 28, I have just some text, right? Uh, for first name, last name, and comments. So that's why, <laughs> that, that's a problem, right? We don't want to just use text uh, to label fields in our form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comment out those three lines, and I'm gonna comment in these line 17, line 22, and line 27. And these are HTML label controls. And there is another video that I have in the class for uh, labels and how to code them. Ah, what the heck, let's go through it. Label is the tag. The for attribute refers to the ID of the field that this label is for, and in this case, it's for first. And if you look over here, this field for first, this input field, has an ID of first. And you use the for attribute here first to, to join it up with the ID here of first. So that binds these two fields together, okay? So watch this now. If I go back into my form, and I turn on voiceover. Voiceover on Chrome, form controls, Google Chrome, first name required, edit text. You are currently on a text field inside of web content. To enter text in this field, type. To exit this web area, press control, option, shift, up arrow. All right, so did you hear the screen reader, voiceover, announce, right, the label? So watch this, I'm gonna tab into the last name field and you'll hear the difference. Last name required, edit text. You are currently on a text field inside of web content. To enter text in this field, type. To exit this web area, press control, option, shift, up arrow. So there you have it. That's how and why you need to have your form elements have label tags, okay? So every single one, including radio buttons, uh, uh, check boxes, selects, they all have to have a corresponding label that will assist people uh, and assistive technology allowing them and the assistive technology to let the user, the person, know what kind of field they're on and what the expected input is. Now, there's a lot more you could do uh, with ARIA attributes, and I'm not gonna go into those at this time. It's reserved for more advanced uh, classes, especially in our program, but you need to start as a beginner in HTML fundamentals, coding your forms using label tags. If you have any questions, 
please let me know and thanks for watching this video.